Oh yeah, yummy. Hey Beauts, it's not Caroline here and welcome back to another Get Ready With Me video. But today we're gonna do the Bratz Challenge. Now I had Bratz dolls as a child uh, and I always was like, these noseless women with their massive lips and their fabulous fashion, I was obsessed with them and I really enjoyed them. So the Bratz Challenge is going around on Instagram and stuff where people turn themselves into Bratz dolls and I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I've got a picture to kind of go off of. I'm gonna try and copy this one if we can focus it in. Fabulous. I'm gonna try and copy that one, but do my own eye colour and my own lip colour on it. Excuse me, I have some sort of lash embedded into my iris. I'm not happy about it. No, it just looks I look so good. I always any men out there wanna get with this, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Right, so I get to use this glue for the first time. I have not used this. Remember when I bought this ages ago? So I bought this one that they normally use, which is Elmer's glue. Very American. It's pebble. And we're gonna give this a go and see how this one works. Now again, I am very, extremely amateur and I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing, but we're gonna like, we're gonna do the base. We're gonna do the glue on the eyebrows, cover up the eyebrows as best we can do a foundation base and then see how far we go with that. So that's the first thing we're gonna do is, is get this glue on this eyebrow. Now, already I can tell it's stickier and better than the other fucking Wilkerson's 50p glue that I bought. Um, and I love how purple it is. And I love how attractive I look when I glue my eyebrows. Ugh, why has it got fucking strands coming off it? Like a spider's butthole, stop it. Absolutely. Make sure it's flat to my face and just pull all the. It rips my eyebrows out, honestly. This glue. Ridiculous. Okay, so now I'm gonna wait for my eyebrows to dry and then um, I'll be right back when they're dried. So I've actually decided I've dried and then re glued three times. So this is three layers of glue. I look. I look like that actor with the eyebrows. And if you don't know who I mean, this dude, this dude here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm then gonna, I'm gonna set them. I'm gonna set them in a second. They're not dry yet. Fan, we need to fan more. Okay, so I've wiped away all the glue around the outside because you can see my face is all red from that. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is get our Ready Set Smooth by Barry M, which is just a white translucent powder. Um, we're gonna get the sponge that comes with it and we're going to just press it into the eyebrows and cover them up as best we can. Um, and just, ah, oh, I've opened it and it's gone everywhere! Bastards! That doesn't look very good, does it? I feel like everyone's powder online is better than my stuff. I have the shittest of the shit. Why am I wearing a black top with white powder? Why do I decide to do stupid things on camera? <laughs> everywhere! I have a pressed one. So maybe we can try the pressed one and see if that, that does any sort of, there's a Revolution Pro one. Uh, I think I've showed it before in a video. We'll try, we'll try the pressed one. That's fuck all, mate. I'm gonna be clump eyebrow again. I just know it. I know it's not gonna work, and I'm gonna be really annoyed. I look like a what's some things from Star Trek? Klingon, Falcon. I don't fucking know. I take this to just brush away the excess that's on my nose and shit. Get rid of that fucking shit and then they're still there they're still there i'm gonna have to use white face paint be right back okay so i've let them dry and then i put a little bit of white foundation white foundation what the, <laughs> the snaps are very white face paint on it uh, and i've let that dry and then i've primed the rest of my face like i would in a normal makeup day uh, and then we're just gonna apply our foundation and see i don't have high hopes for this um, but we're just gonna see how well it covers up. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, so I honestly feel like this is the best I'm ever gonna get with eyebrows. I feel like I'm just never gonna be able to fucking do it. Ever. In life. I just have to keep practicing on my own and just, just practice eyebrows. I put so much stuff on it and it's, you can still see it. Hopefully the makeup will cover it up a bit more. So the next thing we're gonna do, I don't even know where to start. We're gonna, we're gonna do some sort of like aggressive 
contouring to kind of make me look like a doll, a hideous, big lipid doll. So we're just gonna take, I found the lid by the way. In a previous video, I didn't know where the lid was. I found it, not attached, but I found it. Still broken. Um, so we're gonna take our proper shitty bronzer and just like, uh, I mean, there's a lot more pink. We're just gonna do an outline kind of contour so I know what I'm doing with my life, um, which is apparently nothing because I, I don't do anything with my life. Um, oh no, I think I'm gonna hit a bit. I'm gonna set, I wanted to try, I wanted to try and set these eyebrows with like um, a clear powder and just see. I mean, it's kind of better, it's not really though, to be fair. I'm just gonna clear powder the fuck out of my life. Yeah, that looks so good. The best eyebrows in the land. Okay, so that's done. Right, we're gonna go back to the contouring. I don't think this is gonna look very good. Predictions now! Write down in the comments below how you think this is gonna look. I predict it's gonna look fucking shit. Okay, so the most, the thing I've noticed most about this look is the contour of the nose, um, because obviously dolls, and brats don't really have noses, like they do, but they're very small. So I've my little Morphe angled contour brush, uh, which is really good for a nose, but we're gonna, she almost like, I don't know, we'll try a copy of this picture. So she brings it like up all the way up here, because this is like where the eye shadow is gonna sit which I feel like is gonna be really crap, but we're gonna try it anyway. And she's got a really contoured nose, like the line on the, on the tip is very contoured. Mm. Pet, that's the kind of thing I mean, but obviously blended, <laughs> not just left to look hideous. Okay, that'll do for the nose contour for now. I'm gonna grab my sponge and redo like the highlights on it. Go over it a little bit. What we'll do for now? This made my end of my nose look really round and big. I'm not used to that. I'm gonna use a brown shadow first, just to kind of. I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in too dark and too deep, just in case it fucks up. And I'm like, what the fuck is this monstrosity? But the eyebrows are gonna be about here. I'm kind of gonna do like a sperm eyebrow because back in the day when brats were around, eyebrows weren't looking good. Eyebrows were looking spermy and thin and just, they just weren't, they weren't on fleek, okay? It was a bad time for eyebrows back in the 2000s. It was a really bad time. Uh, and I was part of them. You know, I, I did the, the whole sperm trend. I was there, unfortunately, I was there. Okay, so we're done with the base shadow and I'm gonna get, I have this like weird little, kind of shitty pen that my sister got me. Um, well, she gave it to me because she's like, I don't like this, I don't like to use it. And it's like this eyebrow pencil that's supposed to, I don't know where the fuck I put it. It's supposed to leave it on over overnight and it's like a pen that's supposed to stay on. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, it's not I found it. So it's literally called Seven Day Eyebrow Tattoo. It doesn't fucking work. So we're just gonna use it to like, get kind of lines. And uh, once I've done the eyebrows, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've drawn like kind of lines on the eyebrows to make them a bit more realistic. Um, but what we're gonna do now is kind of get the eye shape down so I, I know again what I'm working with. Um, I'm gonna use an angled brush and just an eyeshadow like normal, but I wanna just get it, I just wanna know, I need to get it right before I start applying eyeshadow and like fucking cream and shit. So it's hard to, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, it's all good. So it kind of, oh God. We're pretending that this is like the top lid all the way to like there. So it's like top lid and then comes down and then like this. So there's our outline of our eyes, of what's going to be the eyes. Um, I'm going to start by doing like the shadow above the lid, so this bit 
like this is hard to explain so we're gonna do a cut crease like she's done so this is all gonna be like peach and then this is gonna be dark so let's just I don't know I'm winging it let's just give it a go let's just see what we get out of it I suppose let's just see <laughs> see what we achieve so the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of get the layer of like dark shadow up on up on that brow and try and cover up the monstrosity that is the fucking brow. Um, what palette to go for? We're gonna go for my coloured Morphe one, the 35B. If I can open it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Morphe, what are you doing to me? There we go. Um, so, we're gonna go for like browns and blacks. Okay, this has no brown in it, so I don't even know why I picked it up. Ridiculous. Um, Anastasia Soft Glam, which I got for Christmas, and I didn't do a review on, so I apologise, but it is. It's great. I don't know, it's really good. And I keep it in the box so it stays pristine, like my other one. It's so pristine, but the box is fucking shit. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're gonna take Cypress Umber. I think I said that right. I don't really know. And we're just gonna, like... I don't know. We're just gonna try and go over the eyebrows. This is the most pigmented palette I own, so hopefully it will cover up some sort of absolute monstrosity. I just need to pretend that that is my real eyebrow above and how I would normally do it. So I would just normally kind of blend up to the eyebrow. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so it's still not looking, it's not looking good. I'm gonna lie, it's not looking good. But we're gonna try the cut crease and see kind of how that works into an upper eyelid. Um, just to kind of see if that works and then maybe add some like glitter and shit and see what's going on and shit. <laughs> Lots of shit. So let's just, we're gonna get our white face paint again uh, and some water, spray it on the white face paint and just don't over excess it but I want to get a good basically this is going to be the whole cut crease okay so we're gonna I'm gonna try blending I'm gonna do a bit more black along this line so it looks a little bit more like a cut crease and also blend it up a bit more and we'll kind of see you know how that how it's going okay we are going to do a color on the cut crease and then do some glitter on it uh, because I live for glitter my favourite. I think we're just going to get like a kind of glittery base from this uh, Anastasia one, Soft Glam, which is called Glistening. And we just we'll just put it on, and then we'll put I like a base before I put glitter. Otherwise, it just you can kind of see for it, and it's pointless. So if we do this, so my glitter is honestly the best thing ever. It's called Glitterize, and it comes. This has got stuff in it, but it comes in a pack like this, and you get um, this glitter like. It like sticks the glitter to your eyes without using any glue. Usually I use eyelash glue as you guys know. Get a little brush and you get pot glitter with it. And it lasts so long. So I basically, I'm gonna get the pot that comes with it because I like the color, which is like this pinky one here. And you get the lid of the, of the glitter. Uh, you pour in a tiny bit of the liquid, dip your brush in the liquid and dip your brush in the glitter and it glides on. And it just comes off your brush so smooth, it stays on your eyes. It's freaking genius, man. I would never go back to using glue again, and I really recommend buying. I think it's like £13, um, but you obviously get the glitter with it as well, and it lasts so long that it doesn't even matter about the price. It's not that bad. So yeah, you get it like that, so the glitter's on there, and then it just, just swipes on, just swipes on so easily. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so I've glittered the top of my eyes. I've decided that I need more space under here because we've got to get the pupil in as well. I mean, like the, yeah, we've got to get the pupil in and it's got to look good. Not pupil, what the fuck? The, the color bit. <laughs> Is the iris? Yeah. I don't fucking know. We've got to get stuff in. So basically, I'm going to redraw, I'm not going to draw the line. I'm going to go with just with white. 
and we're just gonna do that because the pupil has to go in and then we're gonna do like eyeliner eyeliner some fucking big old lashes gonna be drawn on so we're gonna go in with the white spray that again uh, with my pencil brush brush with my brush uh, and we're gonna just I'm just gonna decide like a little bit bigger just so I can fit the eye in okay so we've done the white outline I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna draw the eye which is gonna be fucking ridiculously hard but it's like the whole of the underneath try and make it match my eye color see how that goes my eyes are like gray like a grey green. Uh, I don't really. I have the closest I have is probably this kind of colour here. We're just gonna. We're just gonna go for it and see if it works. I've got a really tiny little brush. Uh, we're just gonna kind of try and get. Yeah, so it's like the whole of it. Okay, so we're just gonna just draw the bottom of an eye. See how we go with it. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, a pupil in it, like half a pupil, and then kind of go around it with a little bit of a lighter green so it sticks out. Uh, and then I'm gonna add some white in for light. And we'll see how that looks. I mean, it could could look awful, but we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. I'm thinking of doing, like, just using an eyeliner for the pupil, because I want it to be kind of prominent and not so blended in. So we're just gonna get my normal eyeliner and kind of just draw a pupil in. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna do lighter green around the like outline of it, and then some white in the middle. And then we'll do the eyeliner. See where we are. This is my highlight, this is some lipstick. My back is hurting. I'll be right back. Ah! The white for the pupil, I want to be a bit more prominent, like the light hitting off it, than the actual face paint. Now, this is how, if I want my eyeliner to be like bright than what it normally is, I heat it up and then I kind of use it. Don't try it at home because. It can burn you, it can massively burn you, and I did it the other day and I put it on my actual waterline and I was like, I'm burning my eyeball. Um, but if you heat like the end of a pencil, just like literally quickly, you should be able to just get, yeah, look at that, dots. Now, it was warm, so it didn't really burn me. Just be careful, just don't leave the torch, the torch, just don't leave the lighter on for too long, and then you should be okay. So yeah, I've got some, some dots there now because you just heat it up really quick. There you go, that's how you fucking get very white eyeliner. You heat up the pencil. Meh! Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the eyeliner around the eyes. I've lost the picture, here it is. Um, so like here, we're gonna like do quite a big thing. I'm gonna use this liquid one again because it works really well on like glitter and shadow and shit like that, so. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of shadow under the eye like I normally would anyway, like kind of just do, I don't know, just a little bit of like brown, just blend it in. Okay, so I'm gonna add in um, eyelashes, like just to kind of, it's hard to see like where she's done it, but I'm gonna just add in some. Okay, so I think the eyes are kind of done. Like, we might come back to them in a second and see how everything looks. So we're gonna do the lips, um, which I don't even know what color to do. I'm gonna just do red. Red is always a good color to do. So we need to overline the fuck out of it. Like, honestly, it's gonna be huge. Okay, so I've done the lips. Um, I had to redo them like four times, honestly. 
it's so hard to do, especially when you've got bigger lips and stuff. So I've, I've done like the white um, eyeliner again on it just to kind of bring it out a bit more. I've done some pink blush and all I'm gonna do is just highlight and then we're done. So I'm just gonna highlight where I normally would, obviously a little bit further down on there and then on the chin where I normally would and then just absolutely on the nose, right on the nose. And then I think we're kind of done. Like there's nothing else I feel like I need to do. I'm not gonna put any lashes on or anything because I don't need to. But I think this is my brats look done. Um, so I'm gonna take my hair down and we'll do the finished product. I might even put a wig on, we'll see. When I come back, you'll see if I have or not. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, so this is it done. I mean, I look like a flucking, a flucking? A flucking clown, a flucking clown. I look like a clown, but you know, it's a kind of a dull look I suppose it's for a first attempt don't at me okay don't at me <laughs> but let me take a look at my teeth so yeah this is my kind of my brats look I'd say maybe don't follow my video for inspiration don't use this as a tutorial because you're gonna look like a fucking moron. But I, I kind of like the nose. The nose is cute. So, <laughs> yeah, there's fucking shit everywhere, which always happens after I do some sort of makeup tutorial. So that was really fun to do. It took, this is the longest tutorial ever, like the longest makeup I've ever done. This took me so long to do. Um, my ass is so numb and I'm starving and I'm pretty sure I have work soon, so I have to jump in the shower. Okay, I've got, I've got a couple of hours. Uh, I'm gonna have to jump in the shower and just, get all the shit off my face anyway thank you so much for coming and seeing me today i really appreciate it and push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom don't forget to subscribe and i'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one bye 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 so good i may go out looking like this because i look fabulous